Hello, YouTube people. Um, I have a very small haul for you. I went by Hobby Lobby, and it's nothing big, just some little Tiner Tiner's haul, and um, wanted to share. And the first thing I, I wanted to show you is this super, wait, oh, in screen. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, it's an owl. My daughter just uh, unfortunately, just got a huge tattoo of an owl on her back, and uh, she's 18, so I couldn't stop her, but she knows I love owls and giraffes, and so she got this one. I mean, seriously, it takes up half her back, and she's getting it colored in today, so anyway, um, it's got a big heart in the belly, and she said that she wanted it to be meaningful and it um, is all crystallized. It looks like crystals and she's getting it very colorful because she knows I like color and she's got the heart and the belly to symbolize our love and she picked an owl because it's one of my faves and so I'm trying to be supportive <laughs> although you know I've spent 18 years, 18 and a half years plus pregnancy protecting this child and she's decided to do this and I'm no tattoos day so I don't even have a tattoo. I don't have anything against tattoos. I mean uh, the love of my life is covered in tattoos. I think they're great on the right people with the right personality and um, I, th I think, you know, if it makes her happy, then I should support her in it, and it's not like I have a choice anyway, but I guess it's just different when it's your own child, and anyway, that's my diatribe for today, but I thought this was super cute, and um, the one that I usually scrapbook, the older one, True, is the one that has it, and she's got the short, dark hair, and this little owl's name is Pinky, and it says, If you look up in the night sky, you just may see me flying by. And his birthday is August 14th, and True's birthday is July 14th. So I thought that was kind of symbolic. And uh, just, I left a little tail. <laughs> so I got her that, just because I love her. And um, this is from Hobby Lobby, and I just picked up, I was going to pick up some essentials. I'm going through glue like crazy, and I just can't get into the great big um, glue runners that everybody's into. I mean, they're just so huge, and I'm kind of a little, I like little things. I work better with little, little things. So um, maybe that's why I'm so into embellies and, and detail and because I just love little things so um, I priced this in comparison to what I normally buy at Tuesday morning and one of the small um, who makes that it's not Heidi Swat Teresa Collins she has a gun a glue runner gun and <clears throat> You know, for the price of the refill, this is the same exact thing, and it costs a dollar less. And it's small, so I like Tyner's. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just use it. So we're going to give this a try. I've never tried this one, but, you know, it's in all the stores, so it, it must be okay. People are buying it. And I had a 40% off coupon, so instead of $9, it cost me like $5.40. So, and then I didn't have to buy a $25 gun, <laughs> you know, that's kind of, that's a like a medium size. I don't get how y'all use those great big, huge, raw industrial things, <laughs> but, um, oh, and I did want to say that the last couple of hauls back that I got that glue gun by Imaginese, the pink one that's cordless, I would not recommend getting that at all because I got one. And I got it from a cherry on top, and they were super great about replacing it because I could not get it to work. It, I had boys look at it. I had my little nerdy daughter who's kind of, she fixes all the TVs and stuff around here and does all the cable. She couldn't fix it. And um, so it was junk. Cherry on top replaced it, no questions asked, sent me another one. I didn't even have to return the old one. They were fantastic. But the second one didn't work either. 
<laughs> so I'm like, ah! I threw it in the trash. I'm not even going to bother a cherry on top. I, I just feel like it's junk and $15 down the drain, but what are you going to do? Um, and so I don't recommend that. <laughs> It looks cool and I've seen other people use it so I know there's some out there that works but save yourself the $15 on sale um, so then back to Hobby Lobby I got four inch doilies because I was pretty much out and I'm still trying to get information from trim crafts to order overseas to get the colored doilies and I'm trying to decide if I should put together some other products to offer on my Etsy store. Right now I just have fabric because I used to quilt for years and I had so much stored up that I've been selling off my fabric, but maybe I should add some scrapbook stuff that's hard to find in the U.S. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But the other things that I got, they had a uh, half price for the American Crafts Thickers. And I did not, I, I don't normally do purple, but this is kind of a purpley pink. And it's called Sprinkles. And the color is called Arosa, Arosia. I don't, I don't know. But it's a cute little font. And it's very glittery. And I guess I'm in a glitter mood today because these are all glittery. And so I got those. This one is called Wisecrack. And I think it's new because I've never seen it before. And it's in the color... Oh, maybe, wait, maybe Sprinkles or Arosa is the same thing in a different language. <laughs> I could be a dork. Yes, it's lavender. <laughs> okay, so it's just Sprinkles in lavender. This one is Wisecrack in gold. I thought, and these are more of a chunky and this is more of a fine. And then this is Wisecrack in silver in the chunky. And then this is Shoebox, and it's a fine glitter in bubblegum. So I thought those were cute. And then I went over and just kind of skimmed through the clearance stuff, and this ribbon from Paper Studio was half price, and it's $2. And I used some of that uh, aqua with the sprinkle glitter in it, and it was really cute. And this one's kind of got a shiny iridescence to it, so I thought that was a really good deal. Um, and then I also picked up the Hero Arts in neon pink. And although it doesn't look pink, there we go. It doesn't look that pink on camera, but it, it's the pink one. And I had the yellow and the blue and the green and all that in my hand. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try this first. <laughs> um, so I put all those back and I love pink. So I'm going to give it a shot. And if I like it, I'll go back and get the other ones. But I'm trying to be a good girl and not spend too much money because I have more stuff than I could probably use in three years. So that's if I stopped buying today. But you know that's not going to happen because I'm an addict. So anyway, um, if you keep up with the love life at all, there's uh, good news on the home front there. Um, me and the boy are in talks and trying to work things out, so hopefully that will work. And if not, you'll probably hear my sad story, but um, I thought I would share because y'all are like family and I just enjoy my time with y'all and sharing with y'all and y'all are so supportive and sweet. And so today is a good day and I'm a happy girl and I'm about to pull stuff together to make some layouts for you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.